not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight. And it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts, there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom, right. but his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now is his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 18 wins, 12 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Alex Bruce Leroy Cassara. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? Let's go, Twice the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. We've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this world. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon because that one skill he has is so good that you're un you're in danger the entire time three punch combination he has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows back to the left hand now unable to connect oh nice slip there to avoid the punch by lee and they separate Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check them, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab off, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. It's very tricky to throw that body kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Punch is blocked. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. And both guys really throwing with authority. Trying to establish that jab once again. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it so much for him. Looked like he might have landed there. 
there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Caceres. Man, there's no give on that leg kick. Just missed with the elbow there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Left hand punches the play. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Pretty good right hand. Big kick. How good is that right hand? Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt. Oh, he might be out. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just out of the range with that right hand. Big head kick. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, and another leg kick lands flush. And the best fighters in the world are those who make adjustments. He hasn't made many so far. Yes, he needs to make adjustments. So, one thing you can do is close the distance. Don't give him space to leg kick you over and over again. Get close. Fight from the clinch. Take that leg kick away by managing the distance. You can't take many of those. You better check. Try to establish that jab. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike. But to be whiffing like this, it only exhausts you because every moment he's trying to throw, he's not going to keep up. You're just catching air. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Caceres gets hit by that kick to the body. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Get right here. things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. and find its home. Connects with a right. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, he's hurt! Oh! Slip there to avoid the punch by Caceres. Oh, he just heard him. He just heard him. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact Right. Oh. oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. We'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 28 seconds of round number 2. Going the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.